耶耶耶耶！哎呦喂！吼吼吼吼吼吼！吼吼吼吼！哦吼！また来啊！哎。Was it in the in Yupik language? No, no, that's Paiute. That's my mother's language. You built it as uh, Alaska tribes do that exactly uh, the way. No, not Alaska. This is this is a uh, regular Indian down in the 48. This is this is Plains tribe. But uh, it's not typical for California. It's no. It's just this. This is just a teepee, you know. Come on in. Wow, impressive. Get this on camera, yeah. You can spend the night down here if you want. We can put a mattress down here for you. Oh yeah, it's interesting. I have uh, my pet. Yeah, you can which, which I use for sleeping in a tent. Mm -hmm. Do you stay here in winter sometimes? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Making a fire and... Yeah, yeah. I have a liner for it that I put up in the winter time. You put more skins? Uh... No, just a liner, more canvas liner we use those and then in the winter time we have to dig the snow off of it it's a lot of work so thinking about taking it down and then soaking it I, see it's got a little bit of mold on it so i need to take it down and put it in a a, a large thing of vinegar and the vinegar will kill the mold and the the the, the, the tent will last longer you just put it into vinegar and yeah and, and then it just I'm going to buy a plastic swimming pool thing and, and do that this summer. But yeah, you, you come down here and spend time. Set your, set your stuff up in here and stay the night that we can use as posts. Um, and I'm going to be cutting some of these, the older dead trees out of here. But yeah, this property in here is all mine and I'm going to take care of it. Do you collect um, um, seeds of cedar trees? No. No, uh, no, not the seeds. We we use them for all kinds of things, firewood and posts, and because they don't deteriorate when they go in the ground, they they they, they really do good. Uh, they're they're great they're great posts for the horse corrals and stuff like that. We use it a lot. But seeds are not eatable here, or oh, th we don't eat the seeds from the trees. We don't get a lot of pine nuts or anything like that here. You get the pine nuts from the 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 trees that are out on the high desert. They're on the desert area. That's where you get the pine nuts. These don't have pine nuts. These um, these are just trees. And then the day um, before yesterday, I came from Seattle to California, and the yesterday uh, I was given a ride by Roger, a very interesting person living high uh, in the mountains. And he invited me to his beautiful place in the forest is a uh, 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 a small gate area and that storage container there I own that and the guy on the end property I don't really talk to him very much I don't like the guy I don't so if he says anything to you let me know is this guy from this house not this house that, those are my friends uh -huh. but that guy over there uh -huh. he does garbage and everything right on the property line but yeah this is the way back here but what uh, he can say to me oh he might say i don't know if he'll say anything to you probably won't 
but if he says anything to you let me know okay. uh, and then yeah this is a little road we just put in this year and then down here is where the cabin is Should I take off shoes? No, no. Really, nice. really nice. And That's what I told you, you know. The view is so beautiful. And you can sit here and watch the deer and watch the bear. They, they come in and out. Over there, there's this tree where the bear scratches himself, does this. And then this is the interior of the house. It's really special. The, that water we hook up during certain times of the year. This year we haven't hooked it up, but I hook up water here and there, we can have water and stuff. It's kind of cool. And then uh, this, there's a canvas there that I'm going to be doing a painting in the near future. I stretched that about six months ago. I'm Is it to leave there? Uh, it, no, it's canvas, but we do get small earthquakes here because we're near the mountain. And sometimes there's damage, but this is on stilts so that it it moves really quick, really well. It's really well built. I really did a good job on it. So yeah, this is our house by house. No, uh, the foundation is very deep. Uh, no? no, it's on top of the ground. It's on top of the ground, but it's 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 in a way that it it, it the, the the cabin will move with the earth. I I was noticing that the animals were were acting weird and it seemed to be a weird vibe because the animals were like the uh, woodpeckers were forming a there was a bunch of woodpeckers and they were all together and the deer were moving uh, out of the area and it was like they knew a fire was coming and I don't usually paint in red I usually paint in in cool colors but that particular painting that that day and the next day that I painted, it took me about three days to paint that. The red just kept coming into the to the painting and I just left it in it. And then we had a huge forest fire in our area, the Ponderosa fire that burned 70,000 acres and a bunch of homes. This was in, I think this was about five years ago. And uh, it came through the area and almost burned this property. It was a quarter of a mile from here. And that painting, uh, I, I don't know why it happened, it, it, but that painting came right at the time of the Ponderosa fire. And I finished it after the fire had gone through. But uh, th that bright red is uh, kind of indicative of what happened during that time. The bird is a woodpecker, it's local yeah, bird. It, it, it's just a bird. I don't even know if it's a woodpecker. It's just no. a bird that I painted out of my brain. And then this this here is really really tight, so the, the 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 building will do this back and forth. We did a lot of logging up here. We had to cut the trees. And from this place, it's their property. Uh, yes. And uh, right here, right here, this is their property. And the logging company, they uh, did all that. Yeah. All these cuttings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually did a really good job on this. They they left a lot of trees here. But if we walk back here, And then we're going to have to get back and i got to feed those animals and get on my way. So if you, if you decide to take a walk back here, you just walk through here. But be careful you don't get lost. I have a compass. Yeah, but you can see the trail here. This is an old trail, an old, old road. So there's, uh, you can see what happened. They destroyed the forest. Yeah, that's what they're doing now. Let me get this on camera. 
If people want to know why there's fires in California, this is why. Because they leave all this uh, dry yeah. firewood. They leave this and then the, it goes for miles. And they leave this and it catches fire and burns homes and kills people, but they don't care. They're making their money. This is the reason California is burning. Stand on that and hold it up so you can see the, so see when the devastation. Because of uh, lightning or because of some human? No, they, this is humans. They came through and clear cut. Yeah, but uh, the fire starts when... It, when it, lightning hits it or anything hits it, it'll start a fire. And we've got miles of, of dead, dead wood. Do you have any uh, law in the United States there, which makes them to clear this place? There, there's laws. And it goes for miles. It goes for miles. After uh, this forest, there, there are other places. Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like They're doing it right now. That's what you're hearing. Will they uh, put any new trees here? They say they do, but they don't. They leave it like this. It's all propaganda. Yeah, if, if you want, you can walk out in there later and get some better shots of it. It's a beautiful view of the mountain from here. They did open up the view. It's a Lassen mountain. Yeah. We're about we're about 10 miles from Lassen itself. And you can hear the logging in the background. That's what they're doing right now. They're making another area like this out of the forest. Area out of this area. Every third house is for sale because people are afraid there's going to be a big fire come through. And when those fires get going, it's sometimes people don't get out and they die, which happens it happened in, in Paradise. The whole, whole town burned down last year. And then we had, we had part of Redding burn. I was in Redding when that fire happened. But if this ever catches fire, this is over. And, you know, it, this goes on for miles. This isn't just a small thing. This goes on for miles, where they just wipe out the forest and then leave the, leave the slash. It's called slash, the dead stuff. And just to take a spark, and, and that will just go right up into flame. And then there's no stopping it. And it, it, it goes for miles. <clears throat> but look what Americans do to their trees. Oh. Roger has uh, a lot of life on his property. Golds, dogs, horses, and even wolf. I, I, I took out the hay. No, should I, should I do that? This is a wolf, the real one, and uh, he looks more calm than these dogs barking. He's
Roger has many houses uh, on his property in uh, the forest in California. It, uh, and uh, this house is the one I slept inside the last night. It's a very cozy place. It's still under construction. It's a new house as I understood. And uh, here you can see some paintings, some works of Roger because he is an artist. As he said, this painting is not his painting. But this one is his work. His name is Roger Slegel. And he also has some bigger paintings like that. It's his work. That's his signature. Very interesting. Another of his works. Here you can see some cowboys and Lassen mountain on the horizon. And uh, as an artist, uh, he makes pictures even on some things you you don't expect to to for some uh, for example some unexpected pictures like on this shovel. It's a nice work, I think. Some mountain, probably Lassen Mountain too. And uh, another shovel has wolf painted on it. And Roger told uh, a lot of really exciting, interesting stories about his life. He is a film producer. He has some uh, of his films n nominated um, by awards, some famous awards in uh, Toronto Film Festival, in New York Film Festival. Yesterday I was shown one of his movies, it's called Devia, and uh, this uh, movie it won a lot of awards. And he lived in India, he can speak Hindi, and he lived on uh, North west of Alaska also in Nome for many years. This house, the view from it is incredible as uh, as you have seen another house, log house, log cabin. All of his houses have a pretty nice view because his property is right in the middle of woods in California mountains. This is the bed I slept on this night and uh, th through this window you can see the boat. <laughs> I think it's unusual to see the boat in the forest through the window when you get up early in the morning. Roger is a painter, is a film producer, and he also has a clinic. As he said, for about 30 years he has been working as a psychotherapist, something like that. He has uh, a clinic in California related to that. He has about 30 patients. So it's very, very interesting person. He can speak Hindi, he can speak uh, some Eskimo um, language. He is a painter and film producer, it's unbelievable. So many achievements made by, the, made by this man. And he is also a farmer. Every day, 5 in the morning, 5 a.m., bears can come to the yard of Roger. And uh, this time of the day, dogs will bark. But to, uh, today's morning was a peaceful morning, uh, no bears came. I, I haven't heard any dog barking at 5 a.m. So probably it was safe in the yard this, this day. But he says that almost, almost every day, Roger said, a bear come, will come to this yard and wander around. The dogs will bark. It's impressive. 
this property it seems like it's almost in the middle of nowhere if bears come to the yard. Thank you.